our entrance hymn, Spirit of God. this Mass we shall be praying for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess Lord to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. pray. O oh God, you have willed that your church be the sacrament of salvation for all nations, so that Christ's saving work may continue to the end of the ages. Stir up, we pray, the hearts of your faithful, and grant that they may feel a more urgent call to work for the salvation of every creature, so that from all the peoples on earth, one family and one people of your own may arise and increase. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, Israel, come back to the Lord your God. Your iniquity was the cause of your downfall. Provide yourself with words and come back to the Lord. Say to him, take all iniquity away so that we may have happiness again and offer your own words of praise. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride horses anymore or say, Our God, to what our own hands have made. For you are the one whom orphans find compassionate. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them with all my heart. For my anger has turned from them. I will fall like dew on Israel. He shall bloom like the lily and thrust out roots like the poplar. His shoots will spread far. He will have the beauty of the olive and the fragrance of Lebanon. They will come back to live in my shade. They will grow corn that flourishes. They will cultivate vines as renowned as the vines of Helbon. What has Ephraim to do with idols anymore? 
when it is I who hear his prayer and care for him. I am like a cypress evergreen. All your fruitfulness comes from me. Like the wise man, understand these words. Like the intelligent man, grasp their meaning. For the ways of the Lord are straight, and virtuous men walk in them, but sinners stumble. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, My mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. Our response. My mouth shall declare your praise. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Our response. My mouth shall declare your praise. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Our response. My mouth shall declare your praise. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Our response. My mouth shall declare your praise. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Remember, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be cunning as serpents and yet as harmless as doves. Beware of men. They will hand you over to sandrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking. The spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. And if they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. I tell you solemnly, you will not have gone the round of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Mission Impossible to Mission Accomplished Part 2 in today's Gospel. From our experience, my dear brothers and sisters, you will remember how people will come up to you sometimes and say, you know what, I've got good news and bad news. And just to make you happy and all cheerful with a smile on your face, they'll give you the good news first. And then gradually they'll break the bad news and your mood changes. Well, it was like this for the apostles. In yesterday's gospel, Jesus says, yes, the good news. I'm giving you all authority, all power, cure, heal, bring peace to people. That's the good news. So the apostles are on a high. And now comes the bad news. It's not going to be easy. They're going to come after you. They're going to persecute you. They're going to torture you. They're not going to make life easy for you. That's the bad news for the apostles. And yet, within that bad news, there is the good news that Jesus gives them. Do not worry about what to say or what to do when you are in such a situation. The Spirit will teach you what to say and it is the Father who will accompany you. And I will be with you always until the end of time. Mission impossible to mission accomplished. Indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, there will be times when we ourselves might buckle up when it comes to our faith, especially in the face of being persecuted, being tortured, or being confronted. We can hear stories and stories and stories and read articles and see pictures and see movies about men and women who have been persecuted because they have stood up for the faith. We've heard of missionaries galore all over the world who stood up for the faith even in the midst of persecution, who laid down their lives for Christ. And you and I are not going to be spared, my dear brothers and sisters. People will taunt us because we are Christians. People will keep making fun of us because people have never understood about Jesus. They've never understood the Gospels. They've never understood the power of the cross. And this is the challenge for each one of us. We know that those first apostles, a good number of them were martyred because of the faith. But they boldly took the faith to distant lands. And you and I are grateful today to them because they brought the faith to our own land, even in the midst of being persecuted and tortured. The mission continues, my dear brothers and sisters. And we have to depend on God because all grace comes from Him. Jesus is the one who will give us the strength as to what to do, what to speak. Will we continue to place our faith and trust in Him or will we buckle up under pressure? And offer to Him, Abba Father. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings and prayers of your church, O Lord, rise up in the sight of your majesty and gain acceptance just as the glorious passion of your Son 
was pleasing to you for the salvation of the whole world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night and gazing upon the glory of your face glorify you without ceasing. With them we do confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You form man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when, through disobedience, he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father Most Holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Saviour. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may the same Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father Most Holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the wine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died to the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant your merciful Father that we may enter into an heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Saviour's command that formed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn, Amazing Grace. pray. May our participation at your table sanctify us, O Lord, we pray, and grant that through the sacrament of your church, all nations may receive in rejoicing the salvation accomplished on the cross by your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayer we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord. Our recession in Him, we stand for God. We stand for God and for His glory, the Lord supreme and God of all. Against His force, we raise His standards around the cross.